Hello and Happy New Year to everybody. So this is our, well, Happy New Year. I mean, of course, we have had all, almost almost uh, the first month is in the end, the January month. and But still, it's the second presentation this year in English language that I'm doing. So it's still for me, I don't know, I just wanted to wish you all a, a successful this year. Because as, 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 as you know, and as I have mentioned you before, the, the work goes on tremendously uh, on the field of second level string, pre-stressed string transportation technology, which I'm going to talk to you about today. It's called Skyway. And I have also great news from United Arab Emirates, uh, where I just recently came back from and then uh, I had the chance to go to the uh, innovation center actually I, I drove by innovation center i just wanted to see how the how it looks there and what has been done and then so on so i made a little video as well but this video i'm going to show you next time uh, actually in two weeks because it still needs some uh, some editing and then uh, work to do because i came back basically this uh, this night uh, and then that that's why I didn't have that time to to prepare it for you to show it today but the news are awesome and you will see it uh, with your own eyes as well quite soon when well next time and then then, then you will see why I'm so so amazed about it but yes the well we will continue I will show you some news from the end of the of the next year when when they well, when Skyway presented some achievements about the new tracks that are coming in place. And then I will tell you more about what I saw. But my name is Michael. I'm uh, from Estonia and I have been doing these presentations for, for uh, some time now. And I'm very happy to do these presentations and share this information to, to the world because this really is quite, quite a company. And of course, we just have to bear in mind or, or be patient because this is very physical project. All these supports, all these strings, these uh, models which you see behind me here, unicars, unibuses, these are all very material um, elements, material technologies. And, uh, and this, to produce them, to make them into mass production, to... to, to well, to make them better and better constantly to get all the certifications and, and so on. This this will take enormous time. This will take years. And as you know, 2015 was the time when we, well, when we first, um, when we first uh, got the chance to to witness that the the first supports were were placed and then the first strings were attached to the supports and so the production so on started and uh well and because of that uh that was 2015 just think about it it's it's uh seven and a little bit more years ago when we first started doing the first materialistic things before that it was just an idea of, of course it was an idea for for decades uh, and on, on papers for decades and then calculated and think uh, and Dr. Antonioniski who is the creator of it has thought through all these different aspects these elements and then he finally had the chance to get the landscape that was necessary to start constructing the roads to start uh, well testing this techno technology to start uh, inviting investors on board to help to finance this project so that's why I'm saying that it's seven years and with Alibaba, for example, the one of the biggest companies in the world, or 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 uh, Tesla or um, Apple, those companies also took decades before they even went to public market, the, the uh, IPO, so to say, and, and but the investors were, were were on board decades before that event. So when they got the chance to go through the IPO process and uh, went to the open market, then these stocks, these uh, shares were so valuable comparing to what, well, the price of them were so valuable comparing to what it was uh, 10 or 15 years ago. 
So that's the future, which uh, well, that's the future which hopefully come to us as well, us to us as investors. And therefore, I urge you to to take part of it until this um, chance exists, because as you know, we have fifteen stages, fifteen de development stages, and we are at the fourteenth at the moment. So we have only. Um, well, and the 14th and 15th stage are divided into sub-stages, so we're in the 14th uh, sub-stage number three. So when this is over, we're going to the last stage. So it's possible that within this year or in the first half of the next year, this uh, well possibility ends and we do not have any more the chance to get the shares, to invest in the company and then, well, the process goes on well we can continue with this process but when we are already on the uh, open market so therefore i urge you to open your back offices to take a look at the opportunities there what are the investment packages and so on to take part of it until this uh, exists this opportunity but all right let's continue now with our presentation so the process uh, well we have two demonstration and certification centers that one which I told you just now 2015 which construction started in 2015 that's uh, located in um, Belarus near Minsk uh, and it's called Eco Technopark there I have also been and uh, there the process also continues and that's like a window to eastern countries Russia Belarus uh, Kazakhstan all, all those eastern countries and the second uh, demonstration and certification center, which is called Innovation Center, is located in United Arab Emirates, where I just recently came back. And there, um, and that's like a window, in my mind, that's like a window to tropical climate countries because there is well, constantly the uh, high temperatures. Even now, when we have this January and the cold uh, minus degrees here in Estonia or in most of the parts of, uh, of the Eastern Europe, then there it was uh, plus more than plus 20 degrees. So, but in the summertime, when there is a summer time, it goes even up to 50 degrees in the desert areas. So therefore the conditions are much different than comparing with Belarus or the Eco Techno Park um, certification center uh, conditions where there are in the winter time minus 30 degrees and in the summertime plus uh, 30 degrees around so is the temperature in belarus but uh, but in tropical climates the constant heat and uh, the sand there and the, the, the strong winds then the salt the air those all make different impact on our technology and therefore need technology needs to be well implemented or made uh, taking those aspects in mind so therefore, that's in my mind like a window to tropical climate countries like Indonesia, Africa, and so on, mm -hmm. Vietnam, for example, and then that's that's an amazing, amazing part of it. So yeah, the process goes on, and it was amazing to see that we have their new roads. Uh, those will be. It was like so long. I drove it. But I was like, what? What is going on? I, I well, because I, I was used to the one kilometer road or the 900 meter road in uh, Belarus, which I have seen, and uh, the first track in Innovation Center in United Arab Emirates in Sasha, to be exact, uh, that the first track was uh, or is four, 400 meters. So now there will be two more tracks, 2.4 kilometers long, and it was like, whoa, enormously long, and it was so nice to see it. And yes, this, uh, this here has, has been already well made now. These are a little bit all, all the pictures, but those uh, stations are, are ready. And uh, and the first track, the first track also is, is uh, well placed on the supports. But uh, I will show you next time the video. I'm very sorry about that. I hope you don't, uh, don't get angry with me. That I don't show you this today. But uh, that's another reason why you should come back uh, in a week and bring more people as well to the webinar uh, because it's 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 really amazing. But all right, uh, the one very huge uh, next step is the container 
uh, depot, container transportation system. So basically what I saw also in uh, United Arab Emirates, there are trucks, a lot of trucks which uh, and, and ships which take cargo, um, the container containers from one place to another. But now those this transportation system can be on the second level. So there wouldn't be any more traffic jams because of that. The average speed is about four or five times higher because with trucks or with ships or with uh, trains, the average speed is about 20 to 30 kilometers per hour because there have to, has to be mandatory stops with uh, truck drivers. Then the traffic on the first level, mm, well, and the trains and the ships are by its nature, they are uh, slower transportation systems. So therefore, our transportation system can go more than 100 kilometers per hour, about 120 to 150 kilometers per hour by, well, uh, known information at the moment. Yeah. And, uh, well, and, and the another aspect is they, they, they can go on both sides. So on upper side and they can go on hanging side. So they can go below the track structure, hanging there, like going when the track structure is like this, this way and this way. So both sides, well, upper side is on the slide at the moment as well. So that's very amazing. And the loading time uh, is less than one minute. So therefore, again, and no traffic jams because it's located on the second level. There won't be any, um, any collisions with the cars, for example, and so on, or, or any danger to, to other vehicles. Because today, as you know, mainly the transportation systems goes all on the first level or in developed countries uh, below the ground as well as uh, subways. But uh, the second level is mostly, well, not yet built. And therefore the next revolution will come when we start to implement new technologies that uh, run on the second level. And of course, many, many people have said, no, that there will be drones or flying cars and so on. But just think about it coming from this moment where we are at the moment and going straight to the flying cars, then how can we judge where, what is the trajectory tra tra for, for example, or which way we have to go there on up five? Can we just fly wherever in directions we want? There is so many rules that have to be set and regulations and so on. So it's much easier to go step by step and to go on the rails at first, which is certain road. We know where is the point A, where we know where is point B, we know which way it goes, and so no, uh, so on. It can be much more controlled, and uh, and uh, and it, it is in in total, it is much more safer transportation. That's why it's, it's great. Yeah, here is some some pictures. It it, it looks fabulous there. Oh, same slide. Yes, now. Yeah, and this one, this one I saw and the, the, well, the previous one also, but the previous one had the only supports at the moment. The rails were not installed yet, but this one, the track number four had already these uh, tracks installed as well to the supports. As you can see here, the process started in the end of uh, last year. So within a month or so, they have been placed all the tracks from uh, starting point to the en ending point. And that's, uh, that's absolutely brilliant. Yeah. So here it is. The, the, the process process of, of uh, implementing these track structures. Different. Yeah. I, well, the, the, the lower pictures, uh, well, I, I was writing on the left side. If, if you look at the lower picture, then on the left side, I was driving there through the highway. And uh, and I saw both of these tracks, those supports, which are on the right side. Those were basically the same as they are at the moment. And then those on the left side, those were fully uh, in place. Yeah, it, it, it was just brilliant. I was so amazed. I, and I, I just wanted to see that, and, and I'm so happy that I went there and, uh, and and got the chance to see it, and and I will get the chance to show to you it all as well. But yes, the Uniski transport has completed work on the container depot. Depots are also important uh, aspects of the roads because they will not only be for container but for uh, 
for uni cars, for uni buses as well. These depot stations, they're basically for meant for maintenance or for parking there, charging there, because when there is, for example, rush hour, many models or almost every model that uh, that is meant for that uh, tra uh, track structure or placed there, those will all be in, in working mode, transporting people from one point to another. And when the rush hour is over and the need for, well, the need for transporting people from one place to another is uh, is decreased a lot, then uh, then those models which are not necessary anymore at that uh, specific moment, th those can go back to the depot station, park there and charge there and they can get maintenance if necessary and so on. So that's why the depot stations are a necessary element of our track structures as well. Yes, and the certification process is all already started as well in the big, in the end of the last uh, year. So, and then that's very necessary point, these certifications, because th those are proof for, uh, well, for companies, for potential customers, for, as well as governments that our technology is safe and it, it complies with all the standards that there are and then it, it complies with all the well the safety as safety aspects and so on it can be placed it can be built and it can start serving people and goods that's why we need certifications and as we know in uh, eco techno park in belarus there are already many certifications done already and that's that's just uh, amazing for models as well as on uh, for tracks uh, those certifications needs to need to be done Yes, and so here it is. The next news is that's a successful certification of intermediate support for the Ford test track. Uh, well, it was successful and therefore the Ford track structure is already placed as well. So this all goes hand by hand, uh, this, this construction and the testing with, uh, with uh, complying with cert different certifications. All right, now we get to the second part. And we will take a look uh, at the seven reasons why Skyway is here to stay. Many of those, of course, overall, I, I already told you about, or at least you got the glimpse of what this technology is going to look like. But I'm uh, telling this over one by one. So yes, why Skyway? Just take a look at the picture already. If it will, well, this animation, of course, at the moment on the slide, but it will look like this in the future. It's just so neat. It's pure. It, it doesn't harm the eye. It's not massive. And what's another great story is that we can use, as I mentioned also in the, in the beginning of the, well, when we talk about the container transportation system is that we can use both the upper side and the, and the, the side below the track structure. So the hanging side, basically or the hanging mode, we can be in hanging mode and then on climbing mode <laughs> in my words. But yes, and for example, on the upper side, there can be the high speed transportation system because that is also in development uh, at the moment. And that one uh, will go um, up to 500 and even more kilometers per hour. So that's that's um, absolutely brilliant. And these uh, speeds have been achieved already in. In. in uh, in testing areas, so inside the indoor indoor testing modes, but outside we just need much more bigger track structure or, or the track length than uh, 2.4 kilometers is. We need about 20 plus kilometers because we need the speeding time uh, to get to get the speed up, and then we need uh, this time to hold or maintain the speed to test all these different aspects that are necessary to test. And then we need the uh, slowing down uh, motion as well to basically breaking the speed to, to see how the brakes works and then so on. And so therefore this, this takes about one third each, each sector. So third, three, six, three sectors all together. So about 20, 25 kilometers. And these tractors also should be built but uh, the information at the moment is unknown uh, which or where exactly in Abu Dhabi or in Sarcha or in, in uh, Belarus. So that, that's why, and it's very expensive. So that's why it needs a little bit more, well, I believe discussing and planning. Uh, well, planning goes on actually every day, 
but uh, the information when it's absolutely certain where it will come then the information will be revealed and then of course i will tell you more about more about this but yes the first point is innovation we are very innovative transportation we run fully on electricity we have uh, much less uh, energy consumptions than today with uh, these electrical cars and so on i will explain more about it why I'll explain more why about uh, about all, all of this in 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 few minutes. But yes, we are innovative, and, and main innovation is that we are on the second level. We are pre-stressed string technology. So basically, in the metal frame, in the metal track structure, there is pre-stressed strings, and uh, which which hold us. It's like a bridge, basically. And and we have our own motor wheels. We have our own uh, derailment systems so, because. Well, one of the most popular transportations, uh, second level transportation is cable car, which have you seen many places like in Vietnam, maybe, or in Romania, in Russia, in the United States and so on. And uh, But the, the main aspect is that with cable cars, of course, and in ski resorts, the cable car, with cable cars, the cable itself moves, but the cars stay attached to the same place on the cable. And the cable moves, there are like uh, in the end or in, Yes, on one one end or one side there is like this big uh, wheel which spins and takes the uh, and and moves the cable and therefore the cable cars move. But here we have the structure which is solid, which is which maintains the same place, uh, same size uh, <laughs> all the time. And the cars, so to say, cars, unicars, um, different models. What we have, what Skyway has those move on the track structure or under the track structure. So that's that's very important to notice. Yes, here it is again. This is made in, in Belarus. It just looks looks great already. Yes, and here the, the rail head, as you can see inside there are pre-stress strings, then it's filled with special filler to may reduce the noise, well, noise uh, which comes from, from the movement. And uh, through the filler, it's possible before filling it, it's possible to take the tubes with, uh, through which we can take different uh, con communication cables like Ethernet or, or electricity and so on. So therefore, for example, in Africa, we can take electricity or uh, fast speed um, internet uh, through the track structures to the surrounding areas, for example. And that's one, one great side of it as well. And uh, what is more, we can uh, implement uh, solar panels, wind turbines to the track structures and to the um, cars as well. So because we go run on fully on electricity, so therefore we need somewhere from somewhere we need electricity. And as we know, the world goes more on renewable energies uh, on its development. And therefore, uh, the solar panels and wind turbines, those also will come and, uh, and start producing its own energy. So we should be... In, in some time of our development, we should get 100%. Uh, we, we would be able to run 100% on our own produced electricity. So that's that's uh, basically being, what's the word for it? Uh, mm, yeah, so <laughs> any, any, anyhow. But this slide is made in... Uh, uh, in Belarus, I did that picture and I got the chance to drive with the cable car there up high as well. It was about 12, 15 meters above the ground and it was just brilliant. Just going the, over the, well, there, for example, there wasn't, been, right beneath there was no uh, houses or, or constructions, but one, the echo house, which is also another topic, but I'm not going to touch that today. There was one house uh, a little bit on the right side and just going over that house and seeing all the roofs and, and the different plants and forest and so on, trees. And it's just so brilliant. It's, it's absolutely a uh, different dimension than, than we have witnessed today in our world's development with cars and trains and so on. It will be much different. Well, now the second point is that it is ecological. Ecological, of course, the first point is that we are 100% going on electricity, as I mentioned before. And uh, 
and we do not produce therefore produce therefore uh, direct CO2 levels or the emission is uh, degraded 100% and and uh, well and that's the, that's the next logical step of course in in the world development as well then I have brought this picture also to the slides because this uh, describes very well the conditions in, for example, in Japan and in many developed countries where, where there are a lot of crowds in the cities and especially in rush hours when they need to go home, for example, or, or, or to work. Then these guys there with the hats, those are called pushers and they are hired by the government. Uh, or by the company of, of, of the train uh, train of the train company and their mission is to push the last people on board so the doors could close just imagine how crazy it is to this uh, how crazy it is actually that we ha need to have humans who push us so we could get through the doors so so therefore this is this is really crazy but with skyway because of that because of uh, we have and the possibility to basically call other mobiles, other unicars from the depot to the track structure when there are rush hours, we do not have this need for these pusher guys because we one one um, unicar departs from the station, then the other one will be there in ten seconds or in fifteen seconds, and uh, and then new people are getting get on board, then it departs and again the same the same uh, difference. So so therefore the flow can be much higher. The flow of people can be much higher at the same amount of time, because with trains we have uh, this situation where then another one will come in five minutes or in ten minutes or in seven minutes or fifteen minutes. So it takes a lot of time for new people to get on board again. So therefore, with Skyway, we do not have this problem. So basically, the minimum uh, amount of time can be three seconds when another mo mo another model departs from the station, but we just have to bear in mind again and calculate how, how much time people need to get on board and get off board. So that's the main uh, well aspect there, which, uh, which makes up the time number. All right. Then of course, all these, uh, all these amounts of cars we have today, this uh, asphalt roads we need to construct constantly and maintain constantly. Then the ships and ports uh, that uh, needs to be built and uh, and well we have to use our precious land um, next to the sea and it cannot be used for anything else but with skyway for example we can take the special platforms to the sea around uh, about five kilometers and where the ships can depart departure uh, load off their cargo and then skyway can transport the, that cargo to the mainland so we wouldn't have uh, had this uh, need for for this kind of uh, construction of these new boats around the, around the world. And of course, we, if we can get from one place to another place with Skyway, for example, with 30 minutes instead of driving car for two hours up to eight hours, like in India, when the governor said that, uh, that today when we drive from, he mentioned all, also these places, but I cannot uh, recall them at the moment. But anyhow, the idea is important there behind that uh, saying is that today it takes about eight hours to drive this way because the road is very um, shallow, very, uh, well, tiny, not, not very wide. And, uh, and it's mount mountain mountainous area. And so the average speed is very low there and it takes about eight hours. But with Skyway, we can take it from directly from point A to point B and go about 30 to 40 minutes. So it's an enormous amount of time which can be saved and therefore there is no need anymore for driving with cars everywhere. Yes, and now the wind resistance also which which makes really big impact on uh, on reducing our well uh, energy consumption and because we do not have this screen effect, the screen effect with cars is, for example, when we drive on the asphalt and then the wind comes, it goes b below the car and there is asphalt and that makes collision with the wind and causes the screen effect. And uh, that with Skyway we do not have because we're on the second level and the wind can go perfectly well beneath the road structure. And of course, the second uh, important aspect is the shape of the body, which is made to cut the wind so beautifully. Uh, that it reduces it about uh, eight, five to ten times. It's it's less than with with cars. So therefore, the, the 
so so to say the fuel consumption or the energy consumption is much fuel is not the correct word because we do not use fuel we, we use electricity but energy consumption is much much less yeah and all this maintaining the the roads uh, in different times so in united arab emirates is very very um, it happens a lot that uh, the roads get because there are there are strong winds and uh, the roads get like you see on this picture and it needs a lot of resources to to maintain these roads but not only there in much uh, well not so developed countries as well and and uh, not so rich countries and uh, there it can be a big problem to maintain it correctly yeah here it is our beautiful technology just just brilliant oh and uh, also there on uh, in united arab emirates on the 2.4 kilometer track structure there will be uh, the testing for uh, for a transportation system which can take more than 100 people on board so that's also new and then I'm, I'm looking really really forward to it yes and all these areas building new uh, new trails uh, for for trains it has to we have to first of all clear the path from uh, from starting point to ending point take down the forest houses whatever there are then we have to dig about five seven meters below the ground fill it with special strong filler and that's why the craters uh, are are made well behind the forest basically there are big craters from where the material is uh, is digging well where they dig up the material to fill the the well the seven five to seven meters with this special filler and then we can start implementing the road structure on the on the first level so on the trails it, it's just an enormous amount of money and energy that goes into it and of course exploding the mountains and uh, constructing the roads through the mountains that's that's another totally different aspect but we can take it from one point to another directly with skyway we can even build the tracks uh, up to 100 meters if it's necessary of course it's much uh, more expensive then but uh, if it's necessary we can take it there and it's just just brilliant but all right uh the sea is also the rivers are not an obstacle for us but all right uh, we are going to finish our webinar for today and uh, we will continue exactly in two weeks and as here on this picture Dalai Lama, Lama gave his blessing to Dr. Antonitsky. Dr. Antonitsky is the creator of this technology, the, the mind behind this all. And uh, the, he, when he met Dalai Lama, Dalai Lama said that your project is, your technology is, is absolutely very needed for humanity and you will succeed. It won't be an easy path for you, but eventually you will succeed and then gave his blessings as well to the project. And that's also a very great sign. But thank you all for coming today. Uh, the next webinar in English takes place on 9th of February, exactly in two weeks. And the topic is Skyway technology, as I mentioned to you today, but today we just co uh, covered two, uh, uh, two different uh, well points on why Skyway is here to say, and uh, next time we will cover another, uh, another topics as well, a little bit about the latest news and i will show you the video of course which i promised but thank you very much for coming i wish you all a great end of the week as as always big love to you and let's make wise choices let's take a look at our back offices and see what uh, options there are and talk to your mentors talk to your uplines uh, to the people who who have uh, introduced you this technology and ask them what what you can do more to help uh, develop this project as well as uh, get help from the project when we get so successful that we're going to start well basically making uh, making um, profits and those profits of course will be divided to investors as well and so all that information you can ask also all, always from me or from your from your person from the person who, who has invited you or introduced you to this technology but all right See you, have a nice end of the week, of the week and goodbye.